Today, I want to talk about the biggest problem with technical debt, which is that technical debt is essentially borrowing from the future to benefit the present. Okay, last time we talked about technical debt, right? We said that technical debt is all of the things that are not quite right with your product. Not outright bugs, but, you know, weaknesses in terms of architecture, um, documentation that hasn't been updated, and so on and so on. Now, why do you do that? You do that because you want to be faster, right? So you cut a couple of corners, you, um, you skip updating the documentation, for instance. You make do with a flimsy patch on some issue that I discovered. And that is all well and good, but of course that's going to come back to bite you. Because now that you've gone, you know, you've, you've deliberately not straightened out your path, you've just sort of accelerated in this bit here, knowing full well that, you know, there's something crooked going on. Something, you know, is not quite right about, about the implementation of your of your product and eventually that is going to come back to bite you you need to contend with all of the different issues you have the different things that you've papered over so in the future you will be sl slowing down you will be paying the price each time you touch the piece of code that has you know a, a flimsy bug fix applied to it you will suffer having to to deal with that flimsy patch or you know if if the architecture turns out not to be ideal um, you will need to figure out how to make it work anyway so in other words technical debt is borrowing from the future it's borrowing velocity from the future to benefit the present to be very clear sometimes there are good reasons to do that you know maybe you're a startup and you have a very limited runway so there is no sense in worrying about tomorrow because you don't know whether there will be a p tomorrow. Like maybe you run out of money. So who cares if the architecture wasn't so great? But be very aware that you are making this choice. If you are accepting technical debt, do it consciously, do it for a good reason. And of course, have a plan to deal with that technical debt. How are you going to remove it eventually? When are you prepared to take that velocity hit that will inevitably follow as you spend the time to do things right that you did sloppily the first time around because that was a good idea at the time and and now it's a good idea to do things properly. <clears throat> to reiterate, technical debt, not a bad thing per se, but you know, just like just like in real life, you know, if you if you borrow money, you better borrow it for a good reason. Thank you.